We cover the whole breadth of naval aviation. So one of the first projects I was involved with at CNA was something called the CVN CVNX AOA. So essentially looking at a replacement for the Nimitz class carriers. And this was in the mid 1990s. And CNA led this analysis of alternatives, which was literally a clean sheet piece of paper, look at what that new ship should look like. Big, small, nuclear power, conventionally powered, which ultimately led to uh, USS Ford and the Ford class. Another area where, uh, where the work, again, was a, a long-term kind of focus on future procurement. It was work for headquarters Marine Corps involving a replacement for um, the presidential helicopter. CNA sort of honchoed that analysis and brought the alternatives forward to the decision makers, which then ultimately led to the procurement decisions. The Navy expects us to bring something different to the problem than you know, offices in the Pentagon. And the way we do that is through having a highly technical workforce very often with fairly recent operational experience and the ability to take on highly unstructured problems. So our job is to tie the emerging technology to the operational concepts. So what we do is we're like, hey, here's a potential capability you could develop. Would this be militarily useful? And they're like, oh yes. So now our job is to go back and look at the technology, look at the, the maturity level, where it is now, where it can be, how much investment is being made in it, and advise them, yes, if you want this capability in the fleet, you need to make these technology investments now so that it's available at X date. So based on our analysis, they've made a multi-billion dollar decision to invest in this technique about the direction the Navy wanted to go with this technology to enable human machine teaming in the air. The world is always marching forward. Our adversaries are marching forward. Our, the, the world, the environment the Navy operates in is continually changing. And at CNA, we're part of that. So it keeps it very interesting and very engaging. I've got a counterpart somewhere outside of a foreign capital where their Navy may want to go to war with our Navy. And none of us want to see that. So I think my job is to make sure that my counterpart tells his boss, his or her boss, sir, ma'am, today is a lousy day to pick a fight with the U.S. Navy. That motivates me.